Hey, artist I like. I really like your art, and I want to learn how to be just like you. Do you have any advice for me? Well, um, I think that you should uh, just um, draw. Wow, thanks. Uh, very helpful, you. You're right. Right on its own, not particularly motivating. But you know what else is not very motivating? The translation, which is... Targeted practice for thousands of hours. If you're afraid of failure, you will never improve. The only way to draw something well is to draw it badly hundreds if not thousands of times. Okay. You're like me and you've got some perfectionist tendencies. This is the last thing you want to hear, which is why you get just draw it at instead. Failure? Being bad at something? Miserable. This is basically the artist equivalent of just get good lol. Every artist has wanted to pull their hair out at some point and rolled their eyes at someone saying that, especially when you have art block and drawing feels like pulling teeth. This is true no matter your current skill level. Your art idols have been through the same things you have. That volatile feeling where you can't even remember why art is fun. I get it. I remember how it felt. I can remember that I used to go through a bunch of tutorials hoping to stumble upon a miracle piece of advice that would make me better so I could just draw carefree again like a child. And for anyone doing the same, here it is, that miracle cure for art block and the key to happiness, especially if you're a perfectionist. Ahem. There are no shortcuts. Just suck it up that you're gonna suck and go and do your reps. Just a little bit a day of targeted practice of things you suck at will pay off. Don't do it all at once, you'll overwhelm yourself. You might not even notice you're improving for a while, but then you'll flip back and see that you have. This is a marathon, not a sprint. Grind the fundamentals and go get that EXP. Now, was I happy about coming to this conclusion? No! <laughs> I was forced to reckon with the giant chasm between my ambitions and my skill level, being that I could make something semi-decent but had no idea what I was actually doing and why. But then, I took a deep breath and decided to just try it with this marathon and arrive at the last stage of grief, which is acceptance. That I suck. For a while, I was still pretty demotivated after I'd started, not noticing much of a difference. But then, I finally saw it. Some little nuggets of improvement from my targeted practice. I wasn't where I wanted to be, nowhere near it, but I was closer than I was yesterday. At that moment, my eyes were unclouded and I realized I liked drawing again. Here is the journey I went through after I decided I was tired of drawing being confusing and intimidating. Is it this supposed to be fun? How would I make it fun again like it used to be when I was a little baby? What is this mental block that's stopping me from having fun? To put it in the simplest of terms, being bad. What's your favorite thing to draw? For me, characters. So that's my example. Now take art that you've made with characters and compare it to artists you really admire. What? Compare? Isn't that illegal? Yes, this is try hard, I want to improve quickly advice. Those feelings that make you feel terrible about your art, that bile rising in the back of your throat, jealousy, envy, frustration, throw it away, that's what's stopping you. That's the hardest part. So once you've gone through the stages of grief and arrived at acceptance, it's time to let our analytical brain take the wheel. What do they do that you don't? Are their poses more dynamic? Anatomy good? Lines are more fluid and confident? What goes into that? What do you know that I don't? Time to find out. Let me save you some time and tell you there's no one tutorial that will make you good at drawing something. So what will? Time to learn about our fundamentals. All good art has good fundamentals. For characters we've got anatomy, me, construction, form, gesture, some perspective is good too, color and value. Make sure you don't skip out on those last two, you'll regret it later. Is that a lot? Yep, sure is. To make your long-term goal standard even more attainable, set yourself short-term goals along the way. Trying to tackle all of that at once isn't going to end well. How do you improve those fundamentals? That's the content that's going to help you get started. It's not going to happen overnight, and you will get frustrated. That's part of it. You just have to keep it up. Wow, thanks. Sucking at things isn't fun, and I'm not a masochist, so very helpful. Yeah, but saying just draw isn't helpful either now, is it? So what makes you want to keep going even though you're hyper aware of how unskilled you are? Keep doing your studies and self reflect on your finished illustrations and see what you can make even better next time. Other artists aren't your enemies, your only enemy is your own limitations. Improvement is addicting. This is how you keep your head on straight during your dark night of the soul. Wow, I'm still so far from where I want to be, but I'm closer than I was yesterday. Even if you feel like you're improving slowly, or maybe even not at all, practicing your craft is never a waste of time. It's an investment of time. The only way it can be a waste of time is if you give up. Sometimes it can be more helpful to look backwards when you're having a hard time. Ugh. 
I just feel like I can't draw hands for the life of me. Check back on how you drew them last week or a month ago. You'll feel better. I know that not everyone finds practice for the sake of practice particularly fun. I knew that I certainly did, but that was when I had bad mental. I started out slow with it. I wasn't very enthused, but then I noticed that, hey, even if I'm not where I want to be, I think I might actually be getting a little better. Every day. That's when the study bug bites you and you want to do it all the time. Trust the process. Fun fact, it's thanks to this mindset that I have not had art block for months. Why? Because I know exactly where I need to draw next. There's always something to improve and something new to try. This is when you'll find it fun to draw things you previously would have rolled your eyes at. Before you would have been like, why would I want to practice drawing vehicles that's boring? I draw cute girls. Now you are like, my ambitions for my cute girl drawings have reached beyond my current skill level and with all that I have learned drawing cute girls, I now seek to apply it to vehicles so that cute girl can interact with vehicles. Art being an endless journey won't feel intimidating like it used to. Once you've finally gotten your head around to those fundamentals, or you know, the basics of them at least, art is a playground again. There's always something new to draw, or a new way to draw something you've drawn plenty before. Improving right now is already fun, but you mean I get to do it forever because there are no limits? Epic, sign me up. And that, friends, is the mindset difference, the biggest key to improving fast. Improvement, fun, yay, sky's the limit versus drawing is a bottomless chasm and I'll fall forever. For instance, with this here Miku, I've drawn many anime girls, so what's there to improve? Improve this time. I wanted to practice my metal drawing some more because after avoiding it for a long time, I discovered that, it, that it's actually really fun. And then, particularly in the background, I was playing with this brush that's got the watercolor edge setting turned on that gives a streaky palette knife kind of look that I've always really liked, and that was fun. Compared to my last two pieces, it's definitely more of a return to the comfort zone because they were very ambitious for me, but there's always an opportunity for improvement. Even in the comfort zone, you can keep taking steps. So, in conclusion, TLDR, giving up on something you care about because you feel discouraged is lame and a waste. That is all. Like can subscribe for more life-changing advice from anime girl i don't know about you but i feel the most motivated when someone kicks me in the teeth or slaps me in the face have spite